who just actually did Killers of the Flower Moon, which you had a little part in. So what was that like? Because you had to cut your hair and you really couldn't tell people about doing that movie for a while until it came out recently. This was like when the full on like pandemic quarantine lockdown was going on. I get an email like, yeah, they want you to to read over Zoom for this, you know, a couple of these Small parts. Movie, that's... And, and so I was like, all right, what else do I got to do? I do it. And I, when I read the lines, I was like, it's kind of fun, you know. I was like surprised at how I was able to memorize everything really easy, and then forgot about it. And I remembered like not letting myself get too even excited about it because the whole thing seemed kind of pie in the sky to me, to be honest. And I was like, Is it really going to happen? All of a sudden, I get a voicemail like, "Pete, it's Alan Lewis. Congratulations, you got the role of AC Kirby." And I was like, "What?" And I was like, "All right." <laughs> and then uh, I was like, "Okay," but I still was just like, "Well, I'm not telling anyone because I'm going to end up on the cutting room floor, <laughs> even if it happens." And and so we didn't shoot for like eight months after that. I did a scene with De Niro that was surreal. I'm like, "What the heck's going on?" You know. Um, <laughs> I was going to say when you've never acted before and you're working with Martin Scorsese and De Niro, and I don't, I guess Leo was like looking for you in the movie a lot, but you never really. I don't think you were opposite him in any scene there, were you? We were never in a scene together, but I did. I did spend an afternoon with him out there on a day off. He was so great. He was like, he's like, Pete, you want to run your lines or whatever? And I was like, <laughs> sure, let's do it. And I showed him how I was going to do it, and he was just like, perfect. That's perfect. Do it just like that and i'd be like is he just saying that i was like worried that maybe he was just kind of like all right these kids sucks but i think they got it and i you know i saw the movie and i'm very happy with the way that they were able to put me across i'm glad i didn't ruin the movie for them but <laughs> you, uh, you know I feel like it was just an honor to be part of that thing as a story and just you know be with such talented people 